I first got interested in past lives through uh, studying the Kabbalah, the Kabbalah, which is the one with the H, not uh, because it's Q A B A L A H. I always have to qualify that as different to the one with the K, because it's all about uh, things like past life, astrology, tarot, and as part of the course, as the development, I was asked to go and have a past life regression by my teacher. So I went off to see this little old lady in Portsmouth, um, had the past life regression, which was. My first one was just incredible. It was absolutely astounding. I couldn't believe that one minute I was lying there just uh, visualizing. And I actually thought at one point, how am I going to tell this old dear that it hasn't worked, that I can still hear her and, you know, I'd quite like an ice cream. I, I didn't know what I was going to do. And then suddenly, wham, there I was, confronted by half the Greek army coming my way. And I lived, breathed, cried, and laughed my way through the next 45 minutes. And that is enough to spark anyone's interest, I would think. If you came to one of my workshops, you'd be shown uh, different ways to access your own past lives. But more importantly, I think the reasoning behind why you'd want to do that, it makes great dinner party conversation or in a past life I used to be a Chinese washerwoman or whatever it is. But there has to be another purpose. And the purpose shows itself individually because we are all individuals. We're all given individual proof. So during the workshops, you'll start to piece together your own past life jigsaw. And you also get to learn a bit more about the reasoning. So things like karma, do we travel together, about phobias, can you get stuck? Always one of the first questions get asked, can you get stuck? The short answer is, no, you can't. All sorts of questions are answered and you're given the opportunity to directly interact with those around you who can sometimes be the biggest mirrors of all, really. So the workshops give you a breadth of information all derived from that one subject, which is past lives. I think when people come for regression, there's a lot of things they're looking for. Some are touches and feelers, they just want their very first experiences, they're not sure how it works and what would happen if they have a past life, and I think that's absolutely fine. Then some people want the next stage of the story. So they've had the first regression and they want to know what the next part of the story is, and then they're beginning on a spiritual path. Some people it's about phobias or perhaps interpersonal relationships. So they may have a really awkward relationship with someone in their life and somewhere inside them they're convinced that it's a past life memory and that could surface. I work with astrology, past life, tarot, energy, all sorts of things which are part of the Kabbalistic training that I went through. And it's a kind of bespoke service really, it's what I'm trying to get people to see. It's very highly personalised. It's about what interests you. If you don't care about astrology, why would I force it or why should you even study it? It doesn't matter. They all work individually, but the beauty I think of it is actually they do work extremely well together.